any comments that you want to add about this or the work or, or even a real off the heart testimonial of what this work has done for you? I would like to say something because a year ago I was in deep, scary depression. I had been dealing with anxiety before that and then it just tumbled down until it was truly terrifying. And I felt so hopeless. And um, I tried everything I knew, every traditional, conventional method that I could find that I had at my reach. I, you know, I tried talking things to death and I just was not, it was only going getting deeper. Yeah. And a dear friend referred me to you and we had a couple of sessions and and made progress and I thought I was I thought I'd figured everything out and I, but I was still doing some other things yeah you know, still sticking with some of the conventional stuff sure and those pieces didn't seem to be helping and it just tumbled down again and I said okay it's time to really take this seriously I know who I need to speak to I know what I need to do and I made another appointment with you we had two appointments less than two weeks apart and my depression left me forever gone oh. Oh, there's still stuff God. to work out there's still stuff to learn but I'm not hopeless oh. and you can't get better if you don't let your life go on <laughs> right. and that's where depression takes people yes sidelines you doesn't it it takes you right out of life man it does, mm -hmm. and it can do it permanently for some people, and that's the scary thought. But even if you haven't gone that way in your mind ever before, depression can take you there. And that if you make that physical decision, you don't get to go back. Right. And try again. Right. Mm. And for people that are hurting and scared, I just want to give them the little tiniest bit of hope, like you gave me humongous hope and another chance to figure this stuff out. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm so glad you're back. I'm so glad you're in the game again. And that you're, <laughs> that you're playing. And thank you so, so much for this today. I don't think it's a coincidence that we're talking about depression. I think so many yeah. of us were deeply, and it gets me emotional even still, deeply moved, shocked by Robin Williams' suicide. I just, did a, I, I just did a video the other day that may come out before this one, but I really believe the reason that was so shocking for us is in part because it made us feel very vulnerable to our own fear. Absolutely. Right? That was the first thing when I heard about it was just, I totally get it. And, and that if he couldn't make it with everything he had going for him, oh my God, what are my chances? I'm, I'm this little nobody, right? That's what ego says to us. I'm this little nobody and I've got these troubles and I don't have his money and I don't have his family and I don't, right? As we project and compare all these, ego projects and compares all these things and it makes us feel very vulnerable and, and it gives ego a place to doubt that we can do it if he couldn't do it. So I just want to, I just want to acknowledge and say that, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful. First of all, for your willing to be candid as you've been today. Um, I really feel like there's some content here that will be a blessing to people. That is my prayer. And and I know you're going to keep on tapping. I know that you have found Absolutely. this tool. <laughs> so, so God bless you, my dear. I hope you have a marvelous, marvelous day. And, and we're all very grateful for you. Thank you. I wish you the same. And to everyone here who hears this as well. Awesome. Thank you.